The following is an update and technical analysis on the iShares long-term corporate bond ETF, one of the larger components to the 10-year investment-grade corporate bonds, where it has found itself under some intense pressure where the titan of investment-grade world felt the squeeze as whispers of the Federal Reserve of potential rising inflation coming back with reality of rising interest rates. The long-term bonds with an IGLB started to tremble. Where you see the longer duration, the sharper the impact when rates shift. Where the fears of recession completely loomed and the bond market's pulse quickened, ascending shockwaves. Through ETFs like IGLB undercutting its 50-day moving average, it's a reminder that in the epic battle of bonds, the Fed's move are the unseen hand that tilts the scales. And from a technical pure perspective, this was a very solidified breakdown sell signal within the moving averages support of the 50 day with a decent strength of reactionary highs and lows cutting through various wicks and reactions under cutting through gaps. The 50 day has stood out as one of the test in times here for the IGLB ETF. Very correlation, significant correlation and conflict, very significant influence within that realm of moving averages where the dangers of the technical momentum realms lie at the complete divergent high, huge bearish and negative divergences that have continued to construct and establish since December of 2023. And as the odds continue to increase, the larger the divergences, the larger the drop. You have a oscillator histogram with the complete solid infused red candle breakdown below its zero line threshold. Make no mistake about it. There is plenty of meat across the bone within the Wilder's RSI strength index. At the 46 handle, this could be the beginning stages of a potential breakdown sell signal. And these would be your ideal targets puncturing up above the 5463 price resistance level and that was coming shy of being tapped and with additional big time reactionary high and low high reaction cuts right through some of the wicks through the covid flash crash you get the picture you had a nice clean divergent high right into resistance completely rejected without cover confronting the initial physical interaction that is a breakdown sell signal off a primary minor uptrend line based upon the july mid july reactionary lows with plenty of reaction across that entire sphere there Taking out the 53.30 price support level, that is a great, well-infused red big breakdown sell signal where long traders and or bull traders could step in for a snapback and or counter trend rally, snapback for another 2% move to the upside, only offering an addition to your existing short trade setups, if not a great pivotal pivot point for a short trade entry, great well-rounded risk reward ratio to the downside, targeting the 52.35 price support level for 2.5% crash down in confluence of a primary reactionary uptrend line off the November 2023 gap. And that would be good for a 4.8% crash to the downside, ultimately undercutting its 200-day moving average, hovering in down below. Short sellers, they want to see an additional big breakdown, undercutting the primary reactionary uptrend line, the secondary primary uptrend line, ultimately taking that level out with an additional solid red-infused breakdown sell signal, red candle close, and again, just transpiring to either further, much larger levels down below to retest, and if and when we get down to these key structural levels, I will make sure to finish the job and add additional price support levels and or targets for your existing short trade positions. And so the stage is set where IGLB stands at the crossroads of potential fate here and off a breakdown sell signal caught in the gravitational pull of the Federal Reserve's power where the Fed, like an omnipotent force, holds the keys to the future of bonds, shifting the tide with every word every rate decision, and then this epic saga. And as long as its intentions remain clouded in uncertainty, IGLB and every other bond will continue to dance on the edge of volatility.